I'm having a good time, they just trying to ruin it. Shout out to the fact that I'm the youngest nigga doing it. Cap on brim, Ben, Dan, Sailor, time. Yo, what's up guys, it is your boy Bugs, and today's video we're watching a, I think a really late gameplay of, um, of the cup, one of the solo cups. Yeah, I think I just dropped a calm max points of 9 and get the win. And then they don't really have any gameplays because the fact that I'm on the PC and I'm still trying to, you know, upgrade it to be able to get actual gameplay and actually stream, you know. But yeah, so today's video, I just want to talk to you about my own whole oh, helix experience about the 25k thousand tournament that i went to now sadly we were not lied to but very 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 misleading title so it was a 25k tournament but it wasn't for 25k it was split into three regions in three different days and a whole bunch of stuff gg circuit didn't really lie, but you know, they worried it to where that you thought that it was actually that much. A little mad about it, but you know, still for the fact that I was able to play in like a cool LAN event where actual private servers were still lit, I'm just a little mad that, you know, GT Circuit had to lie about the prize money. Like, I don't feel like people wouldn't have showed up because of it. Like, it's still money, but hey. And not only that, well, this was in the rule set, but for, for my arena, I didn't know until I reached there, which was, um that the servers were on west coast and that was another killer not saying again not saying that i wouldn't have showed up because again it was my first land event that was actually like not like a local event with local rules it was actually you know private servers and stuff so not saying that i wouldn't have gone if it was west but you know i went in there blindly not knowing what, what i was getting myself into so i went there um they i think you know to qualify or whatever i qualified got first place it was lit uh, that's all I really wanted to because like I said, I really felt like I was going to qualify. I just want to, you know, actually, you know, get first race out of my arena, and which I did. So day one of me actually going to the event, playing in the tournament, it was Friday and I was confused, not confused, I was excited. And when I got there, you know, that's when I read about the whole prize money being switched up and stuff. And I was and like, I was a little pissed off, but it's like, I still want to do it, you know, I want to give a chance, you know. Even though it was only first place or second place, you know, there is a chance in one of those money matches I was able to do it. So, I go in, get ready to play qualify. We were told we only have, what, I think three days, three games to um, qualify. So, literally, thank God, on my first game, on the first ever server, I got top four. Because that's how much you need to be to um, qualify for that big tournament was be top four or top five, something like that. And I qualified top four first game thank the fucking lord i didn't really have to stress it because that's when i was told hey you had to switch your thingy for west coast for your codes to work and my heart dropped i was like what what, what do you mean west coast so yeah it was a pain in the ass like shooting and stuff was fine but you already know when you play on the opposite server you get the massive ping you barely could build you could definitely came and edit but um Thank God it went my way, but sadly for the money matches, it did not go my way. I literally got 20th both times, and it was like the most pissed off thing ever. Literally, you know how the circle is like literally disappearing, like where it is, like it kills everybody? That's where it was at both times where I died, and there's 20 people still alive, bro. 20 people, and I, and I, and I didn't get how the tournaments work because... When I qualified, it was pretty much like a normal scrim, you know, people died off because of storm and all that stuff. But for the money match, no one wanted to die, no one wanted to fight, so it was more of a, everyone was just worrying about themselves. And I noticed that it was a heal off, but I really couldn't do anything because I really had I gotten heals or anything, so I was kind of screwed off on that. So, first day, did good by qualifying my first game in my place. The only people that qualified in my arena was three other people. One of them left early because... He didn't get top four, but later on, Epic and stuff picked up people because people under the age that was qualifying, a whole bunch of BS was happening and ruined people's chances, which is ridiculous. But yeah, so that happened. I failed, you know, didn't get no money. I was like, whatever. It was a nice experience. I got Saturday and Sunday. Saturday was another solo, and Sunday was the duos. Um, so I went Saturday. I had these two annoying kids bother me my first two games and I don't really want to blame them and say it's their fault but it was a very very like input of my 
non-success I could say because like literally they're on they were literally watching me they literally was putting their hands on my screen and I was like yo relax like back away from my screen and and the reason why they were doing that is for the fact people was like oh he's really good just the fact that I qualified and stuff and you know at, at the moment I'm just like oh yeah I just want to watch you know just stay behind me and watch I ain't really expect the kids to actually be up on me touch my screen and stuff like they, they seemed like they were like 12 13 years old so I was like I think they have common sense, but, you know, I guess, I guess they see this as a joke, you know, these games and stuff. Like, oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. So, second game, they they were they didn't really do anything, but they were, you know, still, like, somewhat talking. And, you know, when you game and you try to focus and people try to talk to you, you try to, you, like, you don't want to, like, ignore them, but you try, but you can't because, you know, you know, just for the fact. So, that's pretty much what happened. And my last game is when I had to block them. And I was like, yo, I got to go because I literally died. 60th, 60th place both times, and I had deja vu in two of the games. I literally landed in the same spot twice. I landed in the same spot all three times, I believe, but two times, bro, I literally got a blue sniper and a slurp both times. Like, what were the odds of me getting the same items in the same place in two different games? I was so pissed. But, yeah, going with that, I was like, whatever. My third game did bad again. I just had bad placement, and I was like, yeah, I'm over it. Like, I literally pissed off. I'm like, yo, these damn kids, you know, follow the hell out of me. I was like, you know, whatever. Um, two or three people, I think, qualified in my story again, which was really great. I was just wishing them good luck. And we had one kid that was really close of actually getting my prize pool. I think he was, like, 17 or 15, but, you know, like I said, it's, like, 15. Like, everyone was just trying to live, so no one was trying to fight. And then, in fact, we were on West Coast, so lag and all that stuff was just bad for us. And none of us won again, sadly. Then came Sunday. It was duos. I had my duo Aqua Rusher. I know if y'all know me, if y'all know you know my stream and stuff, y'all know I play with him with wagers and stuff. So I was playing with him and everything, and I was telling him how you know it's not how you think it's gonna seem. Like you are gonna be a better player just for the fact you're on PC, but it's not gonna how you think it's gonna be. It's not gonna be that easy just for the fact that it's you know West Coast and this and the third. And his mindset was, no, nah, we're winning this shit, and I was like. All right, and you already know my confidence is like it's up there, but you know after going through those two days, it's like down because the first day is like damn I choked, and the second day is like yo I did terrible. Like, what the fuck is gonna happen today? So I was like whatever. So first game that we qualified, first game we um qualified, we um I think it was like the third server because it was like 15 servers that they had. So we didn't play right away because we just want to like catch ourselves, and I wanted him to get used to the PC, you know, get used to how it flows faster and differently. So. When I, we played our first game, you know, I already drew out the plan, what we're doing, this and the third. I used my little, um, you know, my little strats and stuff, and we actually won. I actually won our first qualifier, and I'm going to give my man props to Aqua, man, clutch stuff for us. Uh, I got us to the ending with, like, 12 people left. We were clapping people on top for high ground, and then I sacrificed myself because I didn't have no mats, and he had no mats. He dropped down, landed on a zip line killed the kid because he didn't know that he came down because he thought he was still up there or was trying to heal off clapped him and jumped to the bottom clapped their last kid which was actually rondo which is hilarious and we won our first game and i was like we got mad excited i was like holy shit like what the fuck like this this might be it and then then it comes to our money match we play like straight bitches just for the fact of the items that we got and once again i drew out the game plan we we got in two rifts i got in a llama with two rifts Two jump pads and each of us had grapplers and we had a plane. We were set in stone. I was like, yo, we lose this game. We fucking suck. We got to the ending. Literally just had high ground for the longest. And then um, uh, I went to the heal off. I literally hit the bandage twice. Aqua died. And then we won. I was like, holy shit. We really just won 1k, you know, a piece. Not k, 1k a piece. 500 a piece. And then our second game is what I can never regret. I mean, what I can never live down until something else better happens is that we lost our second match for the fact of my sake by four seconds we literally was doing the playing strat and i got us into the storm for like three seconds which screwed us over and then when we got down to the, to the um you know high ground me and him was fighting for high ground and stuff i got in i think a couple kills he got in one and then uh, we both each had a campfire but i had bandies and I don't know, I felt like we maybe we should have gave one of us all of it, but we were just doing it just in case one of us didn't make it. 
So literally when we got the last kill, I was in the storm for like one or two more seconds. I got out, as soon as I got out in the circles, I think five more seconds, I put the floor down because the floor in front of us, I don't think it was ours. Put the floor right next, put the KF5, started banning up. Aqua slowly walked to me and all you heard was -da -da, and he knocked right in front of me. And literally when we looked at the guy, he had 50 health and then he had 10 health and then he won the game. If we got in that second campfire down, we would have won. We would have made a thousand dollars a piece, and everyone would have been pissed at us. Like, yo, who the fuck are these kids? There's only three money matches, and they won both of them. That would have been like the great feeling. And also, these kids literally knew our skin, which we, we fucked up at, was the fact that they actually were shooting us. Like, so through this whole event, and you know how skirmishes, they always a like, plane pack where no one shoots the plane. Well, people on the floor shoot the plane, of course, but people in the air don't shoot each other with planes. But they knew who we were, bro. They were shooting us. They were trying to get us down. We literally had like a. Uh, what, a 50 health plane when we were um, slump in the sky, but no one was bothering us just for the fact, you know, I was trying to get in circle now because it was like really small, but just for the fact that we lost by four seconds, I can never live that down until, you know, something else better happens. Third game was the most shittiest game ever. We literally got BS through the whole shit. Luckily, we stole someone playing because we, they were trying to fight us. We had no shield and barely had any health. Had Bandy, that was it. We fought for high ground. I got one kill. I got killed by Ronald, the same kid that um, Aqua killed. And for the first qualifiers, then um, Aqua, I think he was in a fight, and we barely had mats. I think he was in a fire or something, and, you know, of course he died. We died in, like, top 20, and it was, like, it was that bad. Like, top 20, you hear me, top 20? That means, like, everyone was losing their partner, but they were still staying alive. But, yeah, that was my experience at Helix um, doing the GG Circuit Tournament, and it was a great experience. I really love, you know, the community and the vibe of Helix. I'm starting to get closer and grow with them. It was a great, you know experience with them and i'll never regret that even though it was west i still had a great time hopefully well not hopefully when they do uh, more like custom servers and stuff they said they're going to be east and west now they talked to gg circuit and they're going to try to talk to epic to you know, actually give them those servers just for people that are in east because i felt like it was a little weird that we had more um players and arenas in west i mean in east but we were playing on west coast servers you know but hey man I don't regret the um, opportunity that they gave me, and I want to thank again Helix for giving me the opportunity to qualify in their arena and be able to play for them and, you know, rep I guess you could say represent them for actually being one of the arenas that won, especially on the east side, and I just want to thank them for, you know, giving me that chance. But yeah, I think that's it for the video, guys. I just want to explain my little story about being a GG Circuit and be one of the champions, especially the duo champions for the, Hel um, for the GG Circuit tournament, but yeah. Um, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did. You know, I love commenting with y'all. You know, you know, I love talking to y'all. Comment about anything. Oh, I just said that. <laughs> um, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Just because, you know, you love my second voice or my beautiful gameplay. I'm going to try to chop it up to where it's, you know, I don't even know why I'm saying this. But you know what I mean. But yeah, I'm out, guys. Peace. Niggas think I'm weird and they don't really like me Cause I can fuck your bitch and fuck your mom and auntie Your girl's a fight but your mom is a dime